In Victorian literature, a doppelganger is usually a bad omen and it's some carbon copy of yourself who's not you and who's not your ghost, but is always a foreboding of death. Uh, so it's not particularly great to meet one. Um, and then, but in popular culture, I guess, when saying someone is someone else's doppelganger, it's a shorthand for saying, you look identical. And the show is called Doppel Danger, so we're looking at the idea of the doppel part, the doubling, and the dangers of that doubling. I have gone a wandering to cool my hot head and let my dreams meander. The audience can expect to see lots of live music with Baroque pop covers, gothic storytelling, gender-defying costumes, and some very odd dancing. Our background is really writing, devising theatre, but also writing a lot of music. And we've always worked with live music integrated within live performance. We're using both acoustic instruments the sort of more, for the more Baroque texture and mixing that with layered and electronic sounds and lots of harmonies. So in this show, there's heaps of new music that we've written, which is inspired by the theme of doppelgangers. And one of the ways we've looked at doing that is taking well-known kind of girl power pop anthems um, and totally remaking them. taking in all of those associations that you know about, for instance, the love pop song, and then reframing it in our, for our doppelganger needs. <laughs> and then suddenly the, song, the song's emotional undertones are somehow allowed to blossom after the first uh, moment of recognition when, as an audience, one realises what song is being played and there's this moment of um, laughter and pleasure at finding out, oh, it's that pop song. And then we're interested in seeing how suddenly the song takes on new shades and can be suddenly quite sad or a bit more heartbreaking than in its initial context. We knew for making the show that we wanted to be just the two of us on stage and be as self-sufficient as possible. We're finding a, a way in which we can do all of this as sort of one harmonious unit, recording each other, mixing the tracks, both playing music together, singing together, and layering and layering. We've been particularly inspired by the Gothic storytelling tradition of that sense of the uncanny and feeling unsettled. In the show, what we try to do is create a sensation of looking again. The uncanny for us is about making the strange familiar and the familiar strange. We're also really interested in exploring what it means to be two women on stage and um, a female duo and try to subvert expectations around gender. <laughs> the costumes make suggestions about, about the female form and hopefully make our gender, uh, enable our gender to be a sort of fluid thing when we're on stage by covering up our hair, creating these sort of very old fashioned and surreal censorships around the body. We're now really craving um, more time to work on it and um, hopefully do a few previews in front of some more audiences to really test out the material before touring it in the UK. Mm -hmm.